In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up live proctoring over Zoom while also using Respondus Lockdown Browser. Now, this is just one way to accomplish this. It may or may not be the only way. Uh, that's totally fine. This is just the only way that I have uh, been able to test and it does seem to work, um, at least under laboratory conditions. <laughs> um, so the first thing, normally, um, Zoom would not work with Respondus Lockdown Browser, uh, which is a good thing. Respondus would shut it down so that your students can't be on a call with one of their friends while they're taking the test. Um, however, there is a workaround where you will force students to use the browser version of um, Zoom that will work within Respondus Lockdown Browser. So first thing we have to do is modify our invitation so that our students get the browser version of Zoom instead of the desktop version. Second thing we need to do is tell Respondus that it's okay if students visit our Zoom meeting. Uh, and then third, we need to put that link in the instructions for our quizzes so that students know um, where they should go for the Zoom meeting. And an optional step is to put a password on all of our quizzes so that students can only get the password to take the test from the Zoom meeting itself. Now, that's none of this is airtight. There are always ways that uh, really determined students can find ways around the technology. Um, however, this will eliminate a lot of low-hanging fruit and give you some more test security than if you didn't do anything at all. So let's get started. Uh, first thing we need to do is get to our Zoom meeting. So here is, go ahead and open up either the meeting you already created or go ahead, schedule one uh, for when you're gonna be proctoring. Once you're there, I'm gonna copy this invitation. And this is the link I'm looking for, the zoom.us slash j slash, and then whatever your um, meeting ID is going to be. We need to modify this. So normally we can just use this as is, but for our special case, I'm gonna copy this and I'm going to paste it into a program where I can where I can edit this. So I've copied and pasted this into Microsoft Word so you can see. I'm going to delete this J and I'm going to type in WC forward slash join. And what that's going to do, leave everything else, um, but what that's going to do is it's going to force the student to join the meeting in the browser and not in the downloaded version that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna copy this new link and keep this handy, keep it in Microsoft Word, keep it in Notepad, keep it wherever you want, just keep that handy because we're gonna use it a few times over now. So the next thing I'm gonna do is come down here to Lockdown Browser. This should appear somewhere in the left-hand menu of your course. So if I've not done so already, I'm going to turn on Respondus Lockdown Browser. Now notice I have two quizzes here. I have a classic quiz and a new quiz, and I'm going to show you how to do this with both. So first I'm going to click the down caret and settings. I'm going to turn on require Respondus Lockdown Browser. I'm going to ignore this password setting. We're going to set the password within the quiz itself because this password setting can be unreliable, especially if you're using new quizzes. It, it may not work. So um, I'm going to just minimize this because we don't want to do it. I'm going to choose advanced settings. So I'm going to check this box that says allow access to specific external web domains. And basically by doing this, I'm going to tell Respondus that my Zoom meeting is approved for this uh, particular test. So I'm going to allow them to access the Zoom meeting so that I can proctor them. And what I need to do is paste the meeting URL that I copied from before the exact, I'm going to remove any extra spaces before and after, and I've got the meeting URL and that is going to allow students to join the Zoom meeting. I'm going to then save my changes and close. I'm going to do the exact same thing uh, with the other one. now. When I save, I have to scroll back up to find my other one. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to do this one more time. Require response lockdown browser. Advanced settings. 
If it lets you put in a password, ignore it. And then I'm going to say allow access to specific external web domains. I'm going to paste that URL right in here. Remove extra space. And I'm not going to require respond as monitor, remember, because that doesn't work with Zoom. I'm going to say save and close and scroll up. And there we go. So now um, the next step is we have to give the test link to our students and set up our quiz settings. So I'm going to come over here to quizzes on the left hand side. And I'm going to do this with classic quizzes first and then new quizzes. So to get to the settings for classic quizzes, I'm going to first click on it. And then I'm going to come up here to the top right and I'm going to click edit. And that's going to take me to the details page or the settings page for this classic quiz. So um, now what I'm going to do is in the details, in the, in the quiz instructions right here, I'm going to paste that URL. So I'm going to give some instructions first. So I'm going to say um, to get the password for this quiz. Okay, and I've got that there. If I'm going to show you how to do the password and why in just a moment, but um, notice mine pasted in with a full clickable URL. If yours did not, if it looks like this, to make this into a clickable URL, we are going to highlight it. And then we're either going to hit Control K or you can hit this link button. And then we are going to paste that link in here. And now that will be a clickable link that students can use to get to the Zoom meeting before they start their test. That's important. So now go ahead and set any other settings that you have down here. Um, and here we go under quiz restrictions. I'm going to require an access code and I'm just going to set it as one, two, three. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this this is uh, normally when you use an access code or a password on your test, you, you don't share it with students. You give it to the proctors in the testing center. Uh, in this particular case, though, I'm going to put a password on here. This is optional, but it might just, you know, help you a little bit. Um, only students who are in the Zoom meeting will be able to start the test because I'm going to give them this password in the Zoom meeting. Now, theoretically, they could text their friend or whatever. Um, but it's just kind of an extra step, like, you know, you can't take this test without being in the Zoom meeting because you need to get the password. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm not going to filter IP addresses because I don't want them to be in the testing center. I'm going to hit save. So now I'm going to show you how to do that with new quizzes. I'm going to come back to the quizzes section and I'm going to go to my new quiz right here and clicking on it is just going to take me right into the quiz itself and that's fine. So now I need to add my instructions right here. So I'm just going to click or you can click on this little um, pencil icon and I'm going to put in those same instructions. My link right in here. To make it a link I can highlight it, click on the link button and paste my URL and say OK. And now I'm going to say done. And now that has been saved. So now I need to come over to these settings. And right here, I'm going to say require a student access code. And again, I'm just going to do one, two, three as my access code just for simplicity. You can do whatever you want. You can say math rules. You can say um, the town where you grew up, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do. Just make sure it's not a password that you use for anything else. Uh, all right, so I don't have to hit save on this page. Uh, New Quizzes just saves it for me. I'm going to hit return. All right, now um, another option is you could put the link to the Zoom meeting somewhere else. So you don't necessarily have to put it inside the quiz instructions. However, it is helpful um, 
and useful to students to be able to have it right there when they're taking their quiz.